look at this there's angles everywhere it's like a robot i love it i love it i love the angles i see i love the ether this has taken the ether's design taken the edges and boom it's blown it out of the roof All right, so around a month ago, I reviewed the Aether 450X and I came back feeling mighty impressed. I liked the acceleration, I liked that instant torque from the electric motor, I loved the way it looked, all those edges and that sort of semi-futuristic design. I loved it, I loved the fact that it has a massive touchscreen instead of a generic speedometer. I love the fact that it's not just a tool for getting around from point A to point B, they've added stuff that genuinely makes it a desirable vehicle and pushes it further away from being just a vehicle to being something that you own and love. So I just love that Aether did that, it brought that premium experience to the electric scooter space. It also commanded a premium price but then that was to be expected. Government subsidi subsidies are basically dropping in so the price did drop after I shot that review. And the thing is, I was very impressed by that scooter and in fact I came home wanting an electric vehicle quite badly which is not the result I expected from that review. But the thing is, there's two new scooters which have been creating a lot of hype recently before their launch. There's the Simple Energy One and the Ola electric scooter, which is two variants, the S1 and the S1 Pro. Now see, the thing is that I thought the Aether was brilliant. It still is brilliant, don't get me wrong. But these two scooters, at least spec-wise, because that's all we know right now for sure, the specs, the price, the looks, the design, that's all we know. It has not been tested yet. We certainly haven't got a testing vehicle yet. Even the really super massive channels haven't got testing vehicle yet because it literally just released today. It's 15th August, the day I'm shooting this video. So these two vehicles have suddenly made the Aether spec wise at least look not impressive at all. In fact, I'll bring up the specs of all three vehicles on screen right now. See for yourself. The new boys have bigger batteries. They have more acceleration. They charge quicker. They last longer per charge and they're also cheaper and the styling is even more radical and refreshing than the Aether which I already thought was pretty dramatically awesome as compared to other scooters on the market. Now the advantage to being slightly late on the scene as compared to well Aether since it was one of the pioneers in the premium electric scooter space is that you do learn a few tricks of the trade. Now these two packages look like such phenomenal value, I'm not even surprised that the Ola scooter got like more than 1 lakh bookings in like the span of a few days. They just look so refreshing, their specs are mad and the price is much much less than the Aether, in fact I can't wait to get my hands on them. I mean now you see what I'm talking about when I said that these two vehicles have made the Aether not look very impressive. So until I get my hands on them, right now we can talk about the design of these vehicles which is something that I've been really really keen to discuss about since they're very different angles, they're two different angles to the electric vehicle approach. One is more similar to the Aether, obviously the simple is uh, more edgy but it takes that edgy factor and dials it up to 11 whereas the Ola sort of retains a retro but uber futuristic techie look. So let's just get straight to that. Amazing stuff happening in the electric vehicle scene in India. I cannot do it. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the most established player in the market, the one that has been around for the longest, that is the Aether 450X. Now, when I reviewed this, I really, really loved the way the scooter looked because it is semi-futuristic, it is quite futuristic, but it's not so outwardly that it's fallen into the trap of electric vehicles having to look overly techy. I think that's a good blend. We can see a blend of curved surfaces and edgy surfaces here, which is something I quite like to be honest. It's not a domination of any one visual principle and you can see subtle and gentle creasing all around the motorcycle, sorry not the motorcycle, the scooter everywhere and the yellow accents on the space grey color look excellent. Especially some parts here like this exposed frame here. We were staring at it for quite a while because it's not something you see on a scooter and it's just jaw-droppingly pretty in most aspects. Even the positioning of the headlight, the shape of it and the sharply raked mudguard as well as the lights on top. Everything about the Aether is to like and it turns heads as well, it really does. I still look at it uh, when it goes by because it's just something different, it's something fresh, it's not like any other scooter. And yeah, so moving on to the back. 
we have the angular tail light over here which is nice but i'm not like a big fan i like it but it works it does the job then obviously the yellow accents cover even the monoshock is yellow so that carries on the theme of the visual contrast against the space gray and basically yeah the stand is beautifully integrated into the scooter uh, it's just it slides into the bodywork it just fits in so perfectly that it's basically a work of art i mean a lot of people nobody really thinks about things like the stand too much because i mean it's just a stand literally you just use it to put the vehicle on the side to balance it on the ground but ether has broken that stereotype and they've turned the stand into what is basically a work of art and i absolutely love that so even the even the grab rails are not boring i mean in the xsr video i talked about the fzs is grab rails being way too generic this is not generic at all i love this shape it's an exciting visual it is something different to the ordinary and i like it a lot the yellow pin striping on the ether looks great see it's a dual tone color it's gray and yellow it's not too fussy it's easy on the eyes and you want to look at it you'd feel nice about owning the scooter getting onto it and of course how could we possibly forget the touch screen this is one of the main visual points on the scooter uh, one of my uh, mates who we borrowed the scooter from he said that people used to walk up to him and ask how how much the scooter costed or you know overall inquiries of the scooter largely based on the fact that there is a massive full color touch screen instead of a conventional speedometer so that is what sets the ether apart from other scooters which are priced lower you know maybe heroes or various chinese companies but this is a premium electric experience and it has opened up a segment into which the flood gate the flood gates have now bursted open and now the two new players are what we'll be focusing on now so let's go with the one that's more similar to the ether in terms of design this is the simple energy one and it's gone down the angular route but unlike the ether it is properly angular it's not a very it's not a blend ether it's kind of a blend you there were curves there were angular curves it wasn't like exactly they were total curves they were total edges either here full on edge honestly just look at this this creasing oh bro this this scooter has its intention sorted out it has to look sporty it wants to look sporty it wants to look aggressive and bro it's doing that i can tell you it's doing that look at this there's angles everywhere it's like a robot i love it i love it i love the angles i see i love the ether this has taken the ether's design taken the edges and boom it's blown it out of the roof and i think they've done a brilliant job of doing that now i haven't seen it in the flesh yet i wasn't at the reveal obviously but i can guarantee you we will get these scooters fairly soon when deliveries begin we will try our level best we're definitely getting the ola as soon as delivery start the simple i think i might have to pull some strings but this is this i am just going to say this looks better than the ether it just does and it's also cheaper than the ether as i said before as a bigger battery pack goes quicker and much 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 more between charges so the angles continue here look at these thing they look like batman wings oh man come on how can you not like this bro this is sick this is sick i love this look at this i mean man the mirrors okay i'm sorry if i'm getting a bit too excited but honestly it's like the stand on the ether they made the stand into a work of art simple as done that with the mirrors who said conventional parts of a scooter have to be boring right to make it exciting this has so much visual drama in it oh man oh this color Okay so I like red things I like red bikes my bike is red I I'll probably buy red bikes in the future it's just a color I love and bro look at this shade this shade is mad this shade is absolutely mad look at that gloss it's just it looks so good in the picture I hope oh man I just I hope it looks this good in the flesh I might have to get one honestly seriously man These mirrors is black on red contrast is one of the best color schemes it works it has to work it's black and red it works you just use it if you can't think of a color red black accents black with red accent it works it is a full proof strategy and the angles are even more emphasized here as compared to the white one just because red is 
generally more aggressive color and that aggression is complemented by the edges and that works fantastically that so that guys is that is the simple one i can't wait to have a go at this i love, i love it i love it and now let's go to the one that stands out oopsie yeah now this the ola has taken a completely different route it's not edgy it's not edgy at all it's not trying to look futuristic it has its intentions clear like the simple the simple wanted to look edgy it wanted to look aggressive it wanted to appeal to the youth probably i mean all of these want to appeal to the youth but that one particularly because it looks aggressive it looks menacing this one has its intentions cut out as well it wants to look retro it wants to look cool it wants to be a fashion statement and this vehicle is available in 10 colors 10 what vehicle do you know what two wheeler do you know generic vehicle that's like mass produced vehicle not like very high end or anything which vehicle do you know that gives you 10 color options exactly i don't i can't think of one right now there might well be i agree i really can't think of one i mean it is a fashion statement and it's got sort of a vespa vibe going on but i think this looks much better than a vespa purely because they've added a blend of like uber retro charm to it this headlight is not a circle it's more of it's like a rounded off rectangle like a trapezium so rectangle sort of thing going on here and it's a unique shape you got the two internal lights inside my oh shit i made that look a little bit like wally but Yeah you got the two internal lights here and again there's a dual tone finish on the top unit as well there's red at the top and black at the bottom again attention to detail is good i think the fit and finish looks fantastic i particularly like these wheels the black and the black alloys they look really good they look extremely good especially again i'm sorry i'm bringing this up again red and black it just works it has to work and again i said this is smooth surfaces there's no edges but it's not completely smoothed out like a vespa there are flat surfaces here so they've created basically this visual balance over here in this design so it's not basically it's breaking away from the entire thing looking monotonous it's breaking the monotony and these surfaces basically they're reducing the visual mass of the side so rather than just looking like one massive slab of metal just stuck on to both sides basically what these edges and the the you know these planes do they create a certain amount of variation is the same reason that uh, i know this has nothing to do with it but do you see this cupboard here we got this cupboard made way later i actually had a smaller desk over here so the reason we put like these glass panes on the cupboard it's actually most people is do it cuz it looks good but i actually put some thought into it because that's my wardrobe there and that's like my study cupboard sort of so if we we could have easily made that just like that cover and end up ended up you know saving quite a bit of money but then this entire unit would have just been one big slab of wood so these glass panes basically break the monotony and that is what these creases and surfaces are doing on this scooter and it's working it's damn well working and all these colors are, what the hell did i just do oops yeah okay must have hit some shortcut key yeah So these colors just work. They just work. And I really like them, honestly. So what the simple is trying to do, okay, I think my laptop just crashed. Okay, I restarted the that particular image. I opened it again all good. Um did I just call this a simple? I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the Ola. Yeah. So this is available in two variants, the S1 and the S1 Pro. Uh, the specs I showed you uh, basically the comparing ones I basically compared the top ends of the Ether the simple and the Ola but uh, yeah the base variants were also there I think this is great especially you know among the you know young guys I actually want this one quite badly one of my friends has booked it because the booking amount was 500 rupees and what's uh, so one thing that simple did which I really like it's independence did it's independence day today 15th August so the booking amount for the simple is actually 1947 rupees 1947 because that's the year that India got independence i like that but people will appreciate the appreciate that to a certain extent but then they'll say are but the ola's booking amount is only 500 and all of these booking amounts are completely refundable so that's a you know it's a it's a good strategy i like it and basically these black wheels seem to be standard across the entire color range here and they complement the colors nicely there's quite a few few uh, versions of duller colors as well so if you want like more you want a more understated look you don't want it to be too vibrant then you have those as well so basically the smooth appeal now this i said about the ether that the ether is breaking the stereotypes 
about uh, electric vehicle after having to look excessively futuristic this is taking those stereotypes and throwing them out the window because this looks exactly like a scooter should look there are no visual cues that it is in any way futuristic except i mean the headlight maybe a bit like the lights and the overall bit of the design but this could this could well be an internal combustion scooter it could well be you can't tell from the design and i really like that because elect if you st if you like make every vehicle futuristic and edgy and make it look all outworldly then the streets are going to become boring in no time because every vehicle will look exactly the same there are going to be edges everywhere and in that aspect i think ola has achieved the best feat here by making a generic a uh, look stand out by adding fashion and flair to it i think they've done a fantastic job and the pricing is spot on too the range is spot on and the pickup is spot on torque is spot on battery size is spot on you can actually remove the battery i believe uh, i'll confirm that fact but i think you can and honestly i'm not sure what the ether is going to do now because i know riding a vehicle isn't all about the specs trust me i know that but at least on paper the simple and the ola have blown it out of the park can't wait to get my hands on these subscribe to ignite motor ad because that's where i'll put the review of these once we get our hands on our these vehicles uh, check out the yamaha fz and xsr video which i've dropped at the same time as this one and i'll be dropping more videos in this playlist very soon i hope you enjoyed it um, i'll get better at these as i do more and more but i'm sure i'm enjoying it a lot if you like the video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up comment what you feel and if you enjoy my content please do consider subscribing honestly i could really do with the support right about now and yeah i'll see you in the next design analytics video